So I've had a couple of people ask me, how is it possible that I write a thousand words, two thousand words relatively quickly? Well, it's not a secret, I just do this. Because um, a picture's worth a thousand words. God, that was cheesy. Hello YouTube and a very special hello to all my subscribers. My name's Phil and welcome to my channel where I document my journey building an online income. If that's something you're trying to do as well, you're gonna find these videos very useful, so why not become a subscriber today? So when you try and make money online, when you try and build websites or YouTube channels as I'm doing, you're gonna to have to learn quite a few different types of jobs, different tasks, and one of them is being a graphic designer. Images are really important when it comes to blog posts and also when it comes to YouTube for things like thumbnails, also in video editing I found. So I'm not very good at this, I didn't start off being very good at this, but the more you do something, uh, the better you get, right? But having the right tool really does help. So in order to get a wide range of images for any type of niche on a website or a YouTube channel, you're probably gonna to need to use a stock image service of some sort. And there are many out there, but they are generally quite expensive. So what I did is I actually went for a kind of a package. I actually became a pro member of Canva. Now, uh, if you don't know what Canva is, it's a platform that you kind of go onto a web page and you can do many different things from making um, Facebook sort of announcements and uh, posts like that to thumbnails for YouTube. You can make your infographics and all these different kind of things. But another service they have is kind of a stock image service. And I joined the pro membership maybe about five or six months ago. And pretty much the next month, suddenly, instead of looking like it was totally free after joining the subscription service, you had to pay $10. Well, at least that's how it seemed. The question is, if you're a pro member on Canva, can you use those stock images for free or do you actually have to pay $10 for each of them? Well, the answer is, yes, you can. Okay, see you later. No, 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 wait, wait. There's much more to it, in fact. I've been looking at the terms of service and there's a few things that we need to remember. So, looking through the terms of service, as a pro member of Canva, paying a subscription, you can use the images on your website. You can use it on other platforms such as YouTube. Um, however, things that you can't do, you can't sell it on t-shirts or on mugs. So using it in e-commerce probably is not a great idea. The other thing to be aware of is when you download it, you're actually entering into a one-time use license. So if you are trying to sell it commercially, that's going to breach that license. The other thing is Canva could change the policy at any time. So you've got to keep your finger on the ball. Now, this is probably true of other stock images services. Um, I don't really know. I haven't actually spent the time to look at all the terms of services. I actually have a bit of a life. But I did look into the terms of services for Canva because it's one that I use. So this is something that we all should do, right? So yes, you can use those images for your website, for YouTube, for example. You don't have to pay $10 every time. All you do is you uh, create a design. Normally if I'm doing an image for a post, I'll do sort of 900 pixels by about 600 pixels. Then I get the image and I make it that size and I download it. That's absolutely fine according to the terms of service as I understood it. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but that's how I understood it. The other things I really like about Canva Pro is it's really great for making things like thumbnails. So I can take an image of myself from this video, I can remove the background, then I can actually download that image with a transparent background, and I can put it over a design and make a thumbnail. So I found that really useful. Another thing I've started to do is using these new videos that come as part of the package. So if you are a pro member, you get a lot more of these videos as well as a lot more images. And I've been using them kind of to cut up my videos to try and keep people a little bit interested like this, pretty. And I found that that is really good because I get all of that for about 100 bucks, 120 bucks a year. 
And I thought that was a really good deal for all the things that you can do with Canva. So if you're really getting into producing your websites or YouTube channel, and you're getting to that stage where you need to use stock images, I really do recommend Canva Pro. I found it quite easy to use once you kind of play around with it for a while and it just gets better when you join the membership program as well and you start paying a subscription. Now, um, it's not cheap, but I don't think it's as expensive as other services out there. So if you wanna find out a little bit more, why not go to the description? There is a link there. It is an affiliate link, so if you think I've done a good job on this video and you'd like to use that link, that would really help me out. And uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy it, I have. So if you've watched this video and you've enjoyed it so far and you're not a subscriber, hey, why don't you subscribe now? Because this is what I talk about on this channel. I'm following the Project 24 method, which is done by Income School. If you don't know what that is, you better check out my other videos. See you next week.